I'm really happy to be here at St Cuthbert's Mill today. I'm working on uh, these new Milford watercolour blocks and I love using Milford because it's hard sized and the fact that the paint sits on the surface of the paper a little bit longer than, uh, than normal. Um, but in this weather I don't think that's going to be much of a problem. I like this scene in front of me because of the reflections and these holes through the foliage to the field beyond so it gives a nice light and dark contrast and uh, I think I'll make a start. I'm going to begin by making a couple of basic washes I think just to get an underlying colour onto the paper particularly in this weather when it's going to dry so quickly. I just want to get something so that when I paint over the top this paint is going to or this layer of paint is going to kind of show through. I keep everything very very loose at this point I don't um, make any marks with pencil or because I think or I feel that I'm colouring in I have a tendency for detail and I really want to keep things as loose and as fresh as I can so by painting directly onto the paper this kind of stops me getting too involved with any sort of detail. So at this point I'm going to kind of let the sun dry things off a little bit before I make any more marks because I want to put a start going in with another with another wash to darken up the tree um, here and then the reflections will be down here and I'll start making a few calligraphic marks with the with the rigger with this old Chinese brush it's seen better days but kind of perfect for what I want really so I'm going to make some dark marks I'm not sure how this is going to go but I'll try and get some almost neat kind of paint in there just painting around leaves and kind of random shapes very very quickly I don't want to get bogged down with detail on doing things as though they're too deliberate it's all got to seem quite random which kind of means that it's either going to work or it's not so fingers crossed it's very difficult painting in the sun like this because it, you're getting the reflection of the of the white paper in your eyes so you're it's very hard to tell whether it's whether it's dark enough it's quite tricky at this stage or any stage really using watercolor because you can't go back in and correct correct things well you can do a little to a certain extent but it's not like oil where you can scrape the paint off the off the canvas with the watercolor the mark you make is pretty much where the paint's going to be. You can take the paint off to a to some extent but you'll never get back to the white paper. It's making these quick decisions now about where to put these marks and washes. I keep seeing the trout jump in the river here or I don't actually get to see the uh, after effects of the trout jumping in the river here. I know the people are very concerned here at St Cuthbert's Mill about the, the water quality and the lengths that they go to to uh, make sure that the um, the river isn't contaminated in any way whatsoever. So David, as you know, we use a lot of water when we make paper and we also add a lot of chemicals in there. Before we put the water back into the river, we need to clean up all those chemicals to make sure that nothing nasty is going to affect the environment. And what does this do? This here is the high-rate filter. This is full of bacteria which effectively eat some of the additions in the water. And where does the water go from here? From here the water will go to the drum filter and through a couple of other processes to make sure that it's pure and clean before it goes back to the River Axe. I'm not quite sure how much more I can usefully add to this before I melt because this is 
absolutely roasting. There's bits of it that I like and bits of it that, <laughs> that I don't. Um, I quite like these darks and some of these little marks where the paint has dried on the on the paper. Um, this bit here, this bit here, <laughs> some of these dark bits. Well, those elements of this study that I'm uh, happy with, um, there's more that I'm not. Um, but I did have a go at a couple of other little paintings back in the studio under less challenging conditions, obviously. Um, there's not so much sun, there's no camera. It allowed the paper really to show more its qualities, I think, um, especially with the, the allowing the, the paint to dry more naturally or more slowly and a bit more granulation happening, especially in the, in the river area, which I was quite drawn to. I think it's quite obvious to everybody that I haven't included the blossom on here. It was more for me about the kind of light and the dark and those kind of light holes, I suppose, for want of a better word. I could put the, go back and put the blossom in, but that would mean dampening the paper and trying to get that, that colour back. But that just isn't me, flowers and things. So, um, yeah, I think, I think I'm cooked. <laughs>